So half a stick and half a brick of butter to cream cheese. Then we're going to add in two cups of shredded sharp English yellow cheddar cheese. And this is a combination of an English yellow cheddar and an English cheddar called Cotswold, C-O-T-S-W-O-L-D. That's a, a cheddar that's made with chives in the cheddar cheese. So you get a really great flavor punch from it. Um, so super sharp uh, yellow English cheddar goes into our half a brick, half a stick. A little bit of really strong European mustard, prepared spicy yellow mustard. A splash of Worcestershire sauce. A few dashes of Tabasco. And this is exactly what you would put into a, a Welsh rarebit, the hot cheese sauce. And then a little bit of garlic. A clove or two, depending on how much you love garlic. I love garlic a lot. I smell like garlic all the time. <laughs> and then you basically mix this together. That's why you want to bring that cream cheese and butter to room temperature so it makes it easier to incorporate your shredded hard cheese into the soft cheese. Now, to roll the cheese balls, I have different nuts and herbs for each one. I mean, it's really versatile. If you love pecans and you're not as big a fan of walnuts, of course, use that. Who cares? This one, I chose toasted walnuts and chopped grassy flat leaf parsley is our crunchy outside. Now, with any of the cheese balls, you put all of your incorporated cheese onto a big piece of plastic food storage wrap and just pick up the four corners and keep twisting it to help you shape the ball. When you get the ball shaped, you got to chill it down for a few hours to make sure it's good and solid, because once it comes to room temperature and starts to warm up, it's not as firm. And um, you really want it as firm as possible when you're trying to coat it in the nuts so that you've got something to really kind of you know, jam your coating into and make it stick. So we'll unroll the cheese ball. Put it through the walnut mixture with the, the parsley. I know, they're so cute. You feel really artsy when you do this step. Never made a pot my mother kept, ever. But I made many a cheese ball that she liked. And then I served this one today with little toast points of a nice marble rye, a nice grainy bread.